Welcome back to Nothing But The Tea. I'm your host, Taylor Sheffield. Today, we're going to talk about all about the expansion on the Rooney Rule that recently went into effect. All 32 NFL require all 32 NFL teams are requ requiring, oh my goodness, excuse me, women or minorities to be an offensive assistant coach for the 2022 season. Here to join me to talk all about this is Patrick Hall and Blake Bradle. So Patrick, what are your thoughts on this? I think this is good for the NFL, ultimately, kind of promoting an NFL assistant to be an offensive coach because I think that's the ultimate goal of someone who goes into the league to coach is they want to become a head coach one day. And I think the NFL saw that there was nine people that was hired in this past offseason, seven of which were offensive coaches. And so now they're going to kind of start pushing the offensive side of the ball more with minorities and women. Uh, personally, I don't, I don't know why we need a rule. Uh, last year there was 12 women offensive assistants. From what I can see, the NFL is already moving in that direction. Um, obviously... <laughs> um, <laughs> There is only two black NFL head coaches right now, and those, that's Mike Tomlin and Lovey Smith. But I think eventually we're going to get to the place where there are, you know, it's half and half or there's more black NFL head coaches. I think that the NFL is moving in the right direction. I don't know why we need a rule to uh, make it that happen. I agree. I agree. I just think with everything that happened with Brian Flores in the offseason, him suing multiple teams, suing the NFL, pushed the NFL's hand and they felt like they had to put something out as a public publicity stunt and uh, that's what they ultimately came up and decided to do. And um, talking about what you said, Blake, um, I was just saying I think it's great to see, um, in my opinion, you know, we first had like they were just required to interview, not mm -hmm. actually hire. And like you said, I, I don't think that there should be a rule. Um, it's great to see um, women and people of color a chance to grow and compete in the game. Um, but aside from, you know, finding strong women coaches and coaches to a specific position, what are, do you all have any other concerns? I think the major concern is what we saw with Brian Flores is that people were thinking that they're sham interviews and they're just bringing someone in to check a box, basically. So that's why the NFL is now making it a requirement. So I think if they would have done nothing, people would have been outraged, and now they feel like they have to make it a requirement for you to have an offensive assistant of a minority or a woman. Yeah, I think that's a great uh, problem that could arise. Um, another thing that the NFL uh, made uh, a part of the rule is that the NFL is actually paying these head coaches. The, the teams do not pay these head coaches. The NFL, with the collective bargaining, is paying these NFL or playing these new coaches. So to me, that says that they don't really care about the rule if the uh, teams themselves are not actually going to compensate these people, that the NFL are just doing it. That's definitely a big incentive for the NFL. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, that's all the time we have to talk about this. Thank you so much, Patrick Hall and Blake Bradle, for joining me on this week's episode of Nothing But The Tea. I'm your host, Taylor Sheffield. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you all tomorrow night.